Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to debug Lightning Aura component JavaScript without using console.log statements. In order to troubleshoot uh, JavaScript, we usually add uh, console.log statements. Uh, but it might affect our browser memory and it, it might expose the data unnecessarily uh, if somebody uh, is good in web de development. So they can uh, use the browser tool and then they can see what information are passing between the components, uh, between Salesforce uh, server and the uh, browser. So in order to uh, directly troubleshoot using uh, uh, de debug statements, uh, we can uh, ma make use of this approach, whatever we are going to see in this demo. So for this demo, I created a simple Aura component. I have declared an attribute with the name testing var and uh, I'm using init method so that when the page loads or the component loads, it will uh, call my uh, init javascript method and uh, inside uh, a lightning card i am using sample lightning component as a text in the javascript controller i have init method which will be called on the load of this uh, lightning aura component first i am setting component dot set of v dot testing var as example Component dot set of v dot testing where I'm setting it to. Uh, so first it is sample, next it is example, and just uh, uh, for a demo purpose, I have another uh, um, statement here where I am declaring temp str as a variable, and then I'm declaring testing. I have added my Lightning Aura component on the Lightning record page. So here we can select inspect by right clicking on the browser go to sources you should be able to see lightning slash r slash your object name slash the record id and then under that you should see components and this should be the lightning aura component which is added to the lightning record page if you are unable to find this you can right click the top and then you can click search and then you can use your lightning component name account record page so here you can right click search so it will find out your component Yeah, so this is the component and this is the method. Like this also, you can do it. Or you can directly go to components uh, section and then you should be able to find the lightning aura component. Once you find the lightning aura component, you can set the debug statements. So I'm doing a prod debugging here. So I have selected three stops where I'm going, so sorry, three breakpoints where I'm going to see the values. So let's load the, reload the page so that the break statements will be executed. Okay, currently it is here, component dot, set of v dot testing where by default i haven't set any value to my attribute so it should be undefined so let's see the output here so you can we can use component dot get off v dot the variable name directly here 
it is undefined because it has reached to this breakpoint but it hasn't executed this line so ne let's ne go to the next breakpoint so now it should be sample so it is displaying properly as sample next it should be example so let's go to the next so now it should be example so we can use component dot get so that we can see the output of the attribute uh, note if we go out of these breakpoints you cannot use the components dot uh, sorry component dot get so now if we use it will throw an error for us so we should be within this scope and uh, we should be having some debug statements so always try to add a debug uh, breakpoints before and also after so that we can find the right value that is set to our attribute using this way we can avoid adding uh, multiple console.log statements and then we will be able to troubleshoot the lightning or a component javascript controller Please check the video description. In the video description, I have shared my blog post. From the blog post, you should be able to get the sample component which we uh, um, checked in this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.